Afternoon, friends. Good to have you with us for a few moments today. Got this little ship with me here, a ship inside a bottle. Always intrigued with these uh, things and uh, always wondered how the ship got inside the bottle. Bow Street Mall opened way back, I think, about 1988. And shortly after it opened, there used to be a little shop. It's gone now and it sold all sorts of interesting uh, little ornaments and different things. And one Christmas, I saved up my pocket money and went in and bought my father uh, this little ship inside the bottle, I think, for a Christmas present. And uh, since he's passed away just last year, uh, it's come back into my possession. So it sits here in the study. Santa Maria is the name on the ship. Always intrigued. How did the little ship get inside the bottle? I think there's a very simple explanation for it. Uh, but it certainly looks, I always thought, impressive, a ship inside a bottle. How did it get there? Do you ever ask yourself that question about your life? How did I get here? Maybe you ask that about your personal circumstances. Maybe you ask that about life in general. How did I get here? We find ourselves in this great big world. And many people are asking that question. How did I get here? How did I come to be in this world that I live in. Well, there's all sorts of philosophies and ideologies and thoughts about that in the world, but I believe the Bible gives us the right answer. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then God created man in his own image, formed him out of the dust of the ground, and God created man for his own glory, for fellowship with God, to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. God has placed us in this world. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made and that our soul knoweth right well. That's why there's nothing in all the world as foolish as an atheist. The Bible says the fool hath said in his heart there is no God. How did we get here? <clears throat> God created us and God formed us and God made us in his image. And then maybe you look at your personal circumstances. Maybe you're really blessed in life and you acknowledge that. I think we're all blessed to some degree or other, but maybe you're signally blessed in life and you think about your life, how it's turned out. Maybe you enjoy health and strength and friends and family and you look at all of the blessings of life and you consider what you are by nature and by practice and you ask, how did I get here? How did the Lord bless me so much? Well, it's all of God's grace. Maybe you're on the other end of the spectrum and you wonder, how did I get here? Life is hard. Life is difficult. Things seem to be against you. And you ask, how did I get here? It may be because of your own personal choices in life. Many people grumble and complain whenever things don't work out. And they say, how did I get here? And they've maybe made choices in their lives of their own volition. They haven't worked out well. And things have turned against them. Others have entered into a sinful lifestyle. Uh, like this prodigal son wasted his substance and riotous living, went his own way, rebelled against his father, turned his back on God. And we are living in a world that's full of sin and strife and woe. And whenever we choose to go our own way, the Bible says there's a way that seemeth right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Or maybe you've been ill-treated by others. And you find yourself in a hard situation in life and there's maybe no easy answers as to how you got to where you now presently are. Often I look at my life as a Christian and I think about other young people that I grew up with that had many of the same privileges that I had. And here I am as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. I find myself in Christ, in the kingdom of God. And the greater mystery still, the Bible says that a Christian is a person who is Christ in them, and that's the hope of glory. And sometimes I look at my life, I'm far, far from perfect. I'm a sinner by nature and by practice. And yet the Lord has brought me to himself. He saved me. He has kept me all these years, 30 years now a Christian. And uh, the Lord has blessed me in a wonderful, wonderful way. Nice wife, nice children. And I thank God for all of his blessings. And I often wonder... Out of all of the mass of fallen humanity, amongst those that are saved and redeemed, how did I get here? I can say like John Newton, it's simply because of amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch 
like me. And one day the child of God will stand in heaven itself in the celestial city with the redeemed of the Lord and they'll praise and worship the Lamb. And I'm sure whenever a child of God leaves this scene of time and enters into glory, maybe they ask as well, how did I get here? And it's all because of the grace of God. Again, to quote Mr. Newton, grace has led me safe thus far and grace will lead me home. Only by grace can we enter, the hymn writer said, only by grace can we stand, not by our human endeavour, but by the blood of the Lamb. Or another hymn still, I stand upon his merits. I know no safer stand, not even where glory dwelleth in Emmanuel's land. How did we get here? God created us. How does the Christian find themselves in Christ? How did I get into Christ? How did I get into the kingdom of God? God's grace. How will we get into heaven? How will we find ourselves there? God's grace. But maybe you're not a believer yet. And there'll come a day like the rich man that we read about. We encourage you to read it. Solemn reading. Luke's Gospel, chapter 16, verse 19, through the end of the chapter, verse 31. Rich man died and was buried, and in hell lifted up his eyes, being in torments. And I believe that every person who dies without Christ, dies in their sins, the Saviour spoke about that in John chapter 8, again, read it for yourself. I believe every person who opens their eyes in a lost eternity, they're bound to ask, now how did I, how did I get here? Well, sin takes us to a lost eternity. God must punish our sin. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Salvation is all of God, but damnation is all of sin. And a person ends up in a lost eternity simply because of their sin. They die unforgiven. They die outside of Christ. Christ is the only remedy for sin. He's the only saviour. And if we don't get to Christ, we don't get to the cross, we don't cast ourselves upon his mercy. We don't call upon him for salvation. We reject him. We live without him. We die without him. And we spend eternity without him. I wonder where you are in life. How did you get there? How did you get to where you are now? And we trust that wherever you are in life, you'll find yourself safe in the ark of God's salvation. God bless you, friends. Thank you for listening. And hopefully we'll see you again very soon. Next time we'll see you. Bye-bye.